G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to be showing you an awesome location where you can farm contraband, you can farm credits, and you can farm legendary weapons and gear as well. This location has other items that you can collect here as well, and it is farmable because it can be reset, and that is super easy to do. If you're not aware of that already, I will show you at the end of the video, but for those who know how to reset these locations by sleeping, then uh, that that is something that you can skip at the very end. I am going to go and show you where this location is in a second. There are a couple of things that you are going to need. Most people would have digipix on them already. You will need some digipix and you are going to need to have your security ranked up if you want to access the safes that are here. Look, the safes aren't that important, but they do contain credits and other items that you may want to collect but it isn't the main focus for this particular mission. So don't worry too much if you don't have these all ranked up. There are three safes here. So just bear that in mind. Those particular safes are going to be a master, a novice and an advanced lock. So the master, obviously you do need rank three, four. So once you get to rank three, you'll be able to unlock all of those items that are accessible. We're going to head off to that system now. Make sure you take your digipix. One little tip with the digipix if you are struggling with them. Always do a manual save before you attempt the lock. That way you're not wasting the digipix if you don't have a lot of them. That way if you do fail and you feel like you need to reload, just reload the save and try again. That is probably the easiest way to do a, um, one of these locks for sure. And it's definitely the way I learned how to do them. The more practice you get, the easier it becomes. All right, we're going to head off to that location now. That location is going to be located off to the right of Alpha Centauri. So Alpha Centauri is here off to the left here, and we are heading to Olympus. There are two systems right next to each other, so make sure that you click on the Olympus system. When you come into the system, off to the left here, there is this place called the Elgamist. So I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it anyway. This is a space station that's floating in space. So we're going to head there now and take a look. All right, once we're here, guys, you can see there's the space station there. So we just want to put our, uh, probably I'll put our engines up as high as we can and get there really fast. So and when we're within 500, we will just dock. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, we're in the space station now. Now, the first tip that I will give you is that once you are in the space station, you can change your difficulty level. But I would suggest before you dock with the space station that you make sure your difficulty is on the hardest difficulty. And then once you're in here, you can drop that down if you're finding this a bit too challenging. I'm on the hardest. There's about six or seven spaces in here that you need to get rid of. And you just got this hallway that you've come down and then there's this drop just here. So when you head down this drop, they, they know you're here. So I never them anyway. we'll just take care of some of these guys first. like Vasco is trying to help out unsuccessfully. All right, so we, I think we've dispatched most of them. There's a couple still left in here somewhere. All right, we've come down to this small section here where there's a like a bar in front of us. What we want to do is we want to head to the left. We can take care of anything that we come across when we're in here. But you can see this big safe on the wall over here. This is ultimately where we want to end up. You can see this down there. Make sure you do loot all the spaces, especially those ones, the captains. We'll just take a quick look at this guy and just see what he had on him. So there we go. So well, we got a legendary one inch punch scout calibrated. So that's pretty good, I guess. I don't know if I like one inch punch on particularly on rifles because it spreads like a shotgun. So at distance, things are really hard to hit. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it. So that's probably my least favorite perk, to be honest. All right, so we've got this big safe just here. We want to head up a little bit further. And, like I said, take care of anybody that's in here. 
put another captain up here by the look, so we'll get rid of him. Wherever he went. Alright, we just want to get rid of this guy first. I'm starting to annoy me. Alright, this is our other one. Let's see what this guy had on him. So, just a mercenary spacesuit. Had some good credits though. So, just bear that in mind. So, it is worth taking care of these guys. Alright, we're going to head back towards the section that we came in. Just so we're still familiar with where we are. Alright, so everyone doesn't get lost. This is the area we dropped down in. This is the bar. You want to head left over here. There's the safe that I was talking about. And underneath the safe, there's a room. I'm not going to head there just yet. We're going to head upwards into this area here. And then there's this room just here. This is the room we want to head into. Now in this room, we have a number of different items that we can get. So we have firstly the three safes I was talking about. We also have this magazine that you want to collect, Nova Galactic Manual 10. Permanently reduces fuel needed for grav jump by 1%. A little bit stingy, only 1%, but still, if you're collecting all the magazines, this is where you get this one. There's also a computer just here. I'll show you that in a second. We also have this science crate here. Now, the loot rotates in here as well. So, there is some pretty good credits in here. Sometimes there's no credits. And today, this is a particular item that we have. Not something that I'm interested in, but there are other things in here. And like I said, it does rotate. So these are the three safes I was talking about. So give me a few seconds and we'll come back. I will unpick all these and show you what we have gotten in these. Okay, we're back. We've unpicked all the locks just to show you what's in here. So we have a, another cool item in here. We have another legendary shotgun. So this one is, what have we got? This is against 20% uh, damage against robots. And we've got the poison attribute as well. And we've got the Frenzy one as well attached to that. So not a bad shotgun if you're looking for a shotgun. And we've got some ammo. And we have 2,751 credits. Now just remember this does rotate as well. Our next safe we had some credits and some shotgun shells. And then we had a, another little bit of credits in this one. And some other items and just a anti-personnel bridger. So they're the items we got this time. Like I said, it does rotate, so you're going to get something different every go, which is the beauty of this particular place. You can farm this and redo it every time that you do sleep. So let's have a look at the manager's computer now. This is one of the last items that we'll head for. You want to go to this particular here, the jackpot combination. It's going to give you some numbers here. Make sure you write these numbers down. They're really important. You don't want to get this incorrect. So we've got 12, 19, 36, and 5. Once we've got those numbers, we can head out. Make sure you pick up your magazine. And head down this way towards the large safe. And then in this particular room up here, you can see there's a shaft heading upwards. And off to the left there, we're going to head through here. And then we have this computer terminal on the left here. So this is where we put our jackpot numbers in. Now remember the numbers are 12, 19, 36, and 5. And then you just hit the payout winnings. And it's 3,700. That's the only part that isn't farmable. Once you've done that one time, it won't be able to do it again. But everything else in here is farmable. Lucky last, now we have this contraband cache over here. It has, well, we have 10 items in here at the moment, so we can take those. And then we have another one just sitting there. All right, so we're basically taking everything that we really need out of this place. What we're going to do now, for those who don't know, I'm going to go and show you how to reset this. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you that it was farmable and that we can redo it again. So give us a moment and we're going to head off to... Venus. So those people who don't already know, I'm sure everybody knows this already, but we're heading off to the Sol system and we want to head to Venus. Venus has the best uh, sleeping time zone area. So I've just, I've got a location here. I'll just go and um, land there already. 
Um, can't fast travel from this location, so I'm gonna have to head back to my ship first and then we'll head to that location. So give me a second. Okay, we're heading off to Venus now. Now, if you already have a landing site, you're just going to basically spawn outside your ship. So you just want to run back into your ship. Now, if you don't have a bed in your ship, you're going to have to place one on the surface. So, which unfortunately is not possible if you don't have the right, if you can see, see how I can't place it. This is an extreme environment. So you are going to need a ship that has that particular method of sleeping, which is a bed. I'm going to head to our bed now. Now we just want to sleep for six hours. You can see that's 600 hours of UT time. Come on. All right, once we've slept, we are going to head back to the station that we were just at, which is at Olympus. Hello, Captain. All right, we're free docked again and we're back at the space station. And you can hear already that there are spaces here, so this has reset. We just want to clear them out again. And there's the safe over there, so we're just looking for those couple of captains that are in here. Alright, we're just going to head this way. We'll head up. If we do find them, we'll just confront them as we do it. There's one there. In fact, this time I haven't seen any captains. So I guess this is random as well. Anyway, just head into this room and I'll show you again that everything is reset. So we have all the safes locked again. And you can see that this has something different in it now. There's some credits in there and some gold and things like that. And then we have we have this power pack, which is just a rare power pack. It's not something I'm interested in, but you could take that and sell it if you wanted to. And obviously this manager's computer code doesn't work anymore. I will show you that when we get down there. So give me a second, I'll unpick these and then we'll have a look and see what's in them. All right, guys, we've unpicked these ones. You can see we have a rare coachman and some credits in this one and some other bits and pieces. Then we have a book and some small amount of credits, a digipick. And then we have some more credits and things like that as well. This is going to be completely random. Sometimes you're going to get rare. Sometimes you're going to get higher, obviously. So just bear that in mind. These are all rare items this time. I'm just going to head back down towards the safe and show you that we can still get some more value out of this. head up into this room and we're going to head over to this case and there we go so you can see there is some more contraband in here we have some what, seven uh, we've got 11 items this time so these are all starting to add up as you can see once you go and sell these at the say the den uh, you're going to be making some pretty easy money and like i said with those particular farming methods those cases that we opened up there are going to give you something different as well there is one other thing in here We've still got some enemies in here, but look, so... Alright, we'll just go and see what this captain had on him. couple of rare items here still worth some decent money so there's some items there that you could pick up as well and there is a weapons cache down at the bottom of one of these particular rooms it's probably the last thing you can see it down the bottom here this has always got something different in it as well and it's got some ammo here to the left right I should say but there's always going to be a different weapon in here as well so that's worth checking you never know this particular time it's just a bridger with some ammo so come down the bottom and check that out so i hope this was helpful guys run this a few times tell me what you got in the comments below i'd love to know if you got anything really good out of this particular run 
and hit that like button it really does help my channel out a lot and consider subscribing if you haven't already i would love to have you as part of my channel and i look forward to seeing you on the next video thanks again guys wombat out